In the starting of third chapter, we can see Dalbak killed everyone outside, as he was following Chungoa's order from the previous chapter, while Chungo was having the conversation with the CEO of Gwim Gang. In the next scene, we can see CEO offer iced coffee to Chungo as he said. CEO says, you got here pretty late. You were quite a character back then. Chungo replies, you must be getting cold feet. Judging from how much you're talking and from the situation, I think you know why I'm here. Chungo dives straight on to point by saying sign the business transfer contract. CEO says, why are you in such rush? Oh, right. I heard what happened to director Quan Doyen. He says, I should have visited and gave my deepest condolences. We were quite close to each other. Chungo gets quite frustrated listening to CEO. CEO continues talking. He says, Anyways, Director Young, isn't this your chance? I do feel sorry for what happened to Director Doyen, but the ones who are alive gotta move on. Chungo replies in anger, Think before you say anything from now on. You're right on my nerves right now. CEO says, In my opinion, looking at the current Tarim group, I feel like you can take over any time now. CEO says, Are you going to live below the chairman forever? Don't let your skills go to waste. Chungo throws a bowl right on the face of CEO. Chungo says, I was just going to bury you quietly, but never mind. You deserve a good beating. CEO tries to attack on Chungo with his sword, but Chungo grabs the CEO's hand. Chungo takes over the sword and he puts it on the hand of CEO. Chungo says, If you try to pull your hands out, I'm going to cut it straight off. He says, I told you to choose your words wisely. Chungo starts beating the CEO with the bowl he has. CEO says, wait, please, can't you see? Chairman is simply going to discard you after using you. Just like how he did with Guan Doyin. Chungo asks, are you saying Doyin Hyung Nim was taken advantage of? Do you know anything about it? CEO replies, just think about it. You know Guan Doyin isn't someone who would go down so easily. CEO says, I'm not sure since I also heard this from somewhere. I heard it from IL Sung Group CEO Eugen. Chungo gets a little confused and says, IL Sung Group's Eugen? I've never heard of him. CEO explains that they're the new small separated local gangs from the back alley. Money laundering to identify laundering. They would do anything if it makes money. Apparently, they got an order for identify laundering for 20 people. But then those 20 people all went missing. Literally the day after Director Guan Doyen's death. CEO asks Chungo, isn't that suspicious? All 20 people just vanished. Not just one, but all 20. That could only mean two things. They either use those people to kill, or the group gets them killed, right? Isn't so obvious they did something fishy. Maybe that incident is correlated with Director Quan Doyen? Chungo listens everything and punches the CEO, and says, I thought you had something more important to tell me. Stop speaking gibberish and sign the contract. Dalbak comes in to examine the situation and informs Chungo about everything is taken care of. He also says that the cleanup crew will be here soon as well. Chungo asks Dalbak, Dalbak, do you know anything about this group named Zyel Sung? Dalbak replies, I've never heard of them. Chungo asks, do you know anyone who would know? Dalbak says, oh, I know one. There is a person who finds any information out there. Then Chungo says, go find out who they are for me. Quietly. Dalbak replies with yes sir. In the next scene we can see the police was observing everything that happened there. One officer gives a message to the superior on walkie talkie. He says young Chungo is out. Looks like Gwim Gang Constructions just got defeated. Should we capture him? We can catch him red handed. Superior says no. Superior says we can't get young Sung take with him with the lack of evidence we have. Superior mentions Gu Jagwang is getting released from prison soon. Now that Guan Doyen is dead, if Gu Jagwang gets released and starts to cause some problems, it will go right as we planned. Just observe them for now. With that, Chung Go and Dalbak leaves the place. Chung Go reaches the headquarters to hand over the business transfer documents he got from that Gwim Gang CEO to chairman. Secretary thanks the Chung Go for the hard work and gives him some spare clothes to change before meeting the chairman. Chung Go went to meet the chairman. Chairman says, great work today. Chung Go says, it was nothing, sir. Chairman says, even today, you didn't question me about anything. Chung Go is a little bit confused. Chairman stands up from his wheelchair and says, well, that's what I like about you. Chung Go was surprised. He thinks, how is he standing up without his cane? Chairman became younger probably because of that experiment that he was talking about with his secretary. 
Chairman turns towards the Chun Go and says, this is the reason why you have to protect her. And that's how third chapter ends.